This video is recorded to help my students to understand how to write a BNF and an eBNF grammar for a given language. Let's first briefly review. A BNF grammar consists of four parts, the set of tokens, the set of line terminal symbols, the start symbol, the set of productions. So before we write the e uh, BNF grammar for a given language, we must identify these four elements. The eBNF grammar is a uh, use more notation to make it simple. The notation include the braces to mean zero or more repetitions of x. This brackets means x is optional and the parentheses which means for grouping and we use this notation for all. Okay, so let's say an example. The set of all strings consists of zero or more bits. So we first identify the starter point Start symbol is string, okay. Then we have token which is b, and you need a zero or more b's. So if it's zero b, which means it's empty. So we need to have a empty, empty with only the define. Just assume empty, nothing there. Okay. Then could it be a b followed by a string. Now, notice this is a recursive definition. So let's say if it's zero of b's, so it's empty. If it's only one b, then equivalent is a b followed by empty. But empty is a string, right? b followed by a string. This string could be empty, so it's one b. If you have, since one b is a string, then two b is a string. Why? b followed by a string, which is one b, so you have two b is also a string. So that's exactly meet the requirement consist of zero or more bits. Okay? Now if we write in EBNF notation, this is a little bit easier. So we can say the start point uh, symbol is string is defined as zero or more bits. So just define like this. Okay? Now that's the second example. The set of all strings consisting of a letter or a letter followed by characters which could be a letter or digit. So now, <clears throat> we know the line terminal uh, symbol. We have letter, we have digit, we have character, right? So the start point uh, symbol is string, okay? A string is defined as either a letter or a letter followed by something. So it's letter followed by something, something we call it more. Okay. So this letter little follow, this more is a line terminal uh, symbol. So how to define this more? The more is could it be a character, characters, I mean a, a lot. So could it be zero, could it be one, could it be two. So the more is a characters followed by more and the more could be empty. So equivalent say more is zero or more characters. Then we did define line terminal characters. Character. The character is defined as either is letter or digit. Now then we did define the line terminal symbol letter. So we can use token to define it because the letter we really can write out is A or B or go on uh, until Z or little a or little b go on until little z. Then we also have digit line symbol, uh, line terminal symbol digit, which could be zero, one to up to nine. <clears throat> this is the BNF notation. If we use EBNF notation, it could be simple. Let's say EBNF notation. In this case, what I will do, I will say, okay, the start string, uh, started uh, symbol is string. String is defined as letter followed by character. But a character could be a letter or digit. And you follow by characters, 
that means could be zero or more letter or digits. Okay, now and the letter or digit we just copy this part. So you can say EBN flotation is a little bit simple. Uh, now the last example we use is this. We said the set of all strings consists of keyword beginning followed by one or more statements <coughs> with semicolon after each one followed by keyword end. Now he tell you use line terminal statement for statements. That means you need to use statement to define statements, but you do not need to give production support statement. So the start symbol is string. String is defined as beginning keyword followed by statements, right? Then followed by keyword end. Now we need to define the line terminal symbol statements. He said you can use statement to define it. So statements, of course, is zero or more. Uh, zero or more uh, statement, right? So a uh, statement at least is one statement, okay? Because he say one or more statements. So you at least have one statement. So the statements is either a statement followed by semicolon, followed by another statement, or it's just one statement. Of course, this one statement need to follow by the semicolon. Now, if I use EBNF notation, will be simple. EBNF notation, we will write it in this way. Start simple is still string. String is defined as begin followed by statement, one or more statement, right? Then followed by more. So statement, each one followed by my column, then end, okay? You notice this is zero or more statement. If you have zero here, then you have at least is beginning followed by one statement followed by end. So you notice here, you always try to use recursive sync. You need to identify what is the start simple, what is the production rules, and what are the uh, token, what are the line terminal symbols, okay? If you have any questions, please send me email.